From InfDev 2010-03-27 through Beta 1.7.3 existed the infamous Farlands, one of the most well-known Minecraft glitches. This bug caused the very far reaches of your world to become corrupted from bedrock to build limit. What if I told you that you could get to the Minecraft Farlands in under an hour in vanilla survival? Well, it turns out that it's completely possible using the boat teleportation method, which exists between Alpha 1.2.2 and Beta 1.1 underscore 02. This works due to a bug causing your coordinates not to be divided when going through to the nether while in a boat, effectively multiplying your coordinates by 8 every time you go back through to the overworld. Alright guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to get from here, your spawn of your world or somewhere near it, to the far lands. So I'm in alpha version 1.2.2 because pressing F4 makes another portal spawn there it is <laughs> and of course uh, you need another portal to get this done first thing you're gonna need is to get geared up I have some overstacked food water and lava uh, and of course you're also going to need a boat so that's what I'm crafting now and uh, just keep just keep some stuff on you because you're going to need it I have pretty much everything I need access to in my hotbar. Uh, we don't really need the sword quite yet, uh, or we most likely won't need it. But this is kind of how I'm setting up my inventory. I have two boats, and uh, yeah, so here's how it works. You come to a nether portal, place a boat down, right click it so you're sitting in the boat, then you're gonna go through to the nether side. And then once you're on the nether side, you're going to see this screen like this. And it's going to be pretty annoying because it's kind of glitched out. You don't really know what's going on. So what you do is you press escape and you let the, the world save. And it's going to start flashing like that a little bit. It's kind of glitchy. Then go ahead and save to quit the title. Then go into your world. And this is when you got to be careful here. You have to mine blocks. Okay, so this is where we are. Okay, um, I know you guys probably can't see this too well, but yeah, then you want to get out of the nether here. Doesn't really matter where you go because this is already going to be eight times your coordinates. Okay, so of course, uh, coming through onto the nether side will result in kind of being confused of where you are, um, but. Once you get to a place where you can spawn in a portal, go through it, and you will be somewhere uh, with gravel falling on you. Anyways, you want to do this oh, multiple times, uh, and you don't want to die uh, when you do this. So now that we're here in the overworld, all we do now is place our next boat and go through. All right, and then we end up here, which is again, very new terrain to you guys probably, but all it means is we are getting higher and higher up in the terrain values. We're multiplying it by eight every time. So, yep, we're gonna go through once again, get a new boat, and let's go. All right, so that is an unlucky case. Of course, I, uh, I luckily had some armor on. This is why I recommend armor. And if you're quick enough, you can pause the game, collect your senses, and try an MLG lava buckets, uh, and then just keep eating to negate the fire damage. However, it's a very scary maneuver, but it's possible to do. So, that's when, uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and press F4 again. Spawned up there, okay. And we're gonna continue this um, until we get to coordinates really high up.
It's possible we have reached another game crash, and it appears so. So once we reach a point in the, the cycle of going through the portals, there's a point where you keep crashing going through the portal. And so that's when we have updated to beta 1.4. Uh, so now we can go through it. So you do have to make sure that you're um, before beta 1.7.3, because that's when Farlands do not generate. But if we generate it in this version, we should be able to log into the world go through the portal and hopefully see the far lands or be able to walk towards them. Um, so yeah, I believe we're here. Um, this looks like a far lands area. Oh, yep. We're here. I'm going to wait for it to turn today and then we can actually have a good look. Check out the coordinates. Wow. So performing this can result in your world crashing or corrupting and that's why I recommend taking backups. So to do that go to your Minecraft folder and go to your saves folder then go to the world that you're performing it on for us that is world 4 copy it and paste it in another folder. This way if anything goes wrong, you can load this back up so that you don't lose all your progress. Another reason this is good is if you make a jump and you die, you can go back to the previous jump, move the portal, and possibly not die. All right, guys, so that concludes how to get to the Farlands in Vanilla Survival. But first, I'd like to fully credit the people who figured this out, and that all goes to the Discontinued Features Wiki people. Uh, I'll have a link to their Discord and the wiki below. It's an awesome place to hang out if you want to chat with all sorts of really cool figures in the Minecraft Discontinued Features community. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope you found this useful. Bye-bye.